There is one thing that bothers a lot of Dexcom users. The adhesive usually starts peeling off just a few days after we apply the sensor. And this has to stop. I'm gonna share with you seven tips that helped me make my Dexcom G6 stick really well for the full 10 days. Let's go! Thanks a lot to Skin Grip for sponsoring this video and sending me these colorful Dexcom G6 patches. Guys, I just returned from Brazil where I tested my Dexcom G6 in extreme conditions. I spent five weeks close to the equator with no AC, very high humidity and average temperature around 30 degrees Celsius. Really hot. I was sweating a lot and you might have noticed that in those videos that I filmed over there. So although I'm not a medical professional, I can say a thing or two about how you can make your Dexcom stick better this summer. And here is my sticky recipe, aka 7 steps to make your sensor stick for the full 10 days. Step number 1 is simple, pick the right spot. You want to pick a spot that's flat where you're not sweating a lot and where your skin is not shrinking and stretching all the time. And the place might be different for different people, depending on your lifestyle. When I was in Brazil, I placed my sensor on my lower abdomen once and it started peeling on the first day. Why? Well, because the lower abdomen is a spot where I sweat a lot and my skin moves all the time when I sit down, when I stand up and when I take a shower, and I was taking a lot of showers in Brazil, then the water is running down my belly right on my sensor adhesive. So I tried to experiment and I tried upper abdomen, lower back, upper arms. Although not all of these sites are officially approved by the regulators, you might find out that some of them will work really well for you. And by the way, I will be making a separate video about my favorite alternative sites for Dexcom really soon. So watch out for that one. Step two is prepare your skin well before you put the sensor in. And guys, I cannot stress the importance of this enough. Make sure that your skin is not damaged in the spot where you want to place the sensor, because the adhesive will not stick that well to damaged skin. And if the skin is damaged, then exfoliate. Wash your skin really well with warm water and soap and use the most basic soap there is because all kinds of fancy soap with the hydrating components will make your skin more oily and the sensor adhesive doesn't stick really well to oily skin. So just use the basic soap, don't use anything fancy. And if the spot you picked is really hairy, consider shaving it. Step three, clean the spot that you picked with an alcohol wipe. I always try to clean it really well and let it completely dry off. This step is so basic, but really important because the alcohol removes any remaining oily elements from your skin and the adhesive will stick so much better. And better get a big box of these because you will not find any in the original sensor pack. Step 4. Add an extra layer of liquid adhesive on the spot where you want to apply the Dexcom. I like to use skin prep wipes because they really help the sensor adhesive stick better. It's probably a good idea to apply the skin prep in a donut shape and leave a spot in the middle where the needle with the filament will go under your skin because this way the extra adhesive can't mess up your readings. Honestly, I don't think it would, but just in case. Now wait until the adhesive feels tacky, but don't let it completely dry off. In the meantime, you can unpack your sensor applicator and get mentally ready for the shot. Place your sensor applicator on the spot with the adhesive and insert it. And you really want to do this in one go. You don't want to move the applicator and mess with it once it has touched the skin. Because when you place the applicator on your skin, and then lift it up and place it elsewhere, you're kind of messing up the adhesive and it will not stick as well as it would have on the first try. Now once you inserted the transmitter, wrap around the page a couple times to make sure it's secured and let's move to step 6. For extreme stickiness, use an over patch to secure and protect your Dexcom. And I always do this, especially with Dexcom. When I know that I will be active, that I will be in hot climate, I will be sweating, uh, in and out of water, I always use an overpatch with Dexcom. And I like these bad boys, Skin Grip. They stayed on really well even in Brazil. They are quite flexible, so they stretch with your body and they don't peel off easily when I move a lot. Plus, they don't soak a lot of water and they dry really fast. Another cool feature of Skin Grip is that the paper tabs on the back are divided into four separate pieces, which makes the placement a bit easier, even for a clumsy guy like me. And I partnered with Skin Grips for this video. They give you a special 10% discount if you use the affiliate 
affiliate link in the video description and I will get a small provision. By the way, they now have this rainbow pack with 10 different colors, which I really like. Try them out. Guys, before I get to my sticky tip number seven, let me know in the comments, how do you make your Dexcom G6 stay on? I'm curious to hear tips and hacks from you. And step number seven is don't go too crazy right after the application. Give it some time, wait an hour before any uh, wet activities and pay attention. Watch out when you're taking off your clothes, watch out for those door frames, for those seat belts. Keep in mind that you're wearing the sensor and I'm sure it will stay on for the full 10 days. If you liked this video and want more tips for the Dexcom G6, then click on one of the videos on the screen right now and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!